welcome to Joan Britt. I'm Joan. And I'm Britt. And this is our YouTube channel. So for today's video, we are doing a second get the look from our photo shoot. So yes. the last video we did my makeup, which you see here. And for today's, we're going to be doing Joelle's makeup. photo shoot, Britt actually did my makeup for the day, so I'm gonna let her do it again because she's great at it. Um, I already have my base on, so if you haven't seen the Get the Look Part 1 with Britt's makeup, make sure you go check that out because a lot of the products are really similar. The primer that I used is the same primer that we used for her, and I put on, um, it's from Makeup Forever, it is the Ultra HD, and my color is not on here. Why? Why? This is the Ultra HD. Um, foundation from Makeup Forever. It is fantastic. I don't use any other product because it works on my skin so well. I used um, another Makeup Forever professional brush um, that looks like this and it is 108. 108 straight. That's what it's called. 108 straight. Make 108 sure straight. <laughs> Here we go. I'm so excited. Okay, ah! so I'm going in with the concealer I used on the last video, the Naked Skin Urban Decay Concealer in Fair Neutral. And then I'm going to take a sponge dab into it and just go under her eye and I also go on the lid as well just so that it's all kind of blended really well together and what's really great about this concealer is I have really bad bags so this concealer uh, makes them disappear especially in photos yay concealer now I'm going to powder your face with Laura Mercier same stuff I use um, and again, I have to warn you, it travels. Use a big fluffy brush, dab it, and just kind of make sure you sprinkle some off so that there's no excess on the brush. Like, see how much just came up on my face? And then we're just going to... <laughs> Bye, close your eyes. <gasps> Takes away any excess oil, mm -hmm. and it completely creates like a porcelain doll look. Am I jabbing you in the eyeballs? No, no, it feels great. It's and fluffy. Yeah. So we look at how bright her under eye is right now. Then I'm gonna go in with her own Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder because her under eye right now is super light. So we're just gonna kind of tone it down a bit with mm -hmm. this. And blend it all out. Next up, I'm gonna go in with the shadow. So yes. Tartlet In Bloom Palette. If you do not have this palette, go purchase it right now. Right now. Go in the link below and find it. Um, it is super simple. It has all your essential neutral colors. I'm such a fan of neutrals. I think every white girl is. Um, Basically. And again, the greatest thing about, about Tarte um, palettes that not everyone does is they have an already set. So the first row, if you put them all together, they will look great together. Same with the second and the third. And so all you have to do is follow this line. Like these are your neutrals that you start with. This kind of usually goes on the crease. It's a shimmer. Um, but I always, always on this palette start with Flower Child, this one right here. So I'm just gonna take the Sephora number 19 tapered crease brush and I'm gonna take that Flower Child color all over the brush and I'm just gonna blend it in her crease. But you always wanna start lighter and something that's more similar to your neutral, your natural color so that you just kind of get an idea of where, how the shape will look and it's not too drastic of a of a color so that you don't go oh that's not what i wanted it to look like then you have to start all over then i'm going to go in with smarty pants mm -hmm. right beside flower child you're just going to lightly dab and just kind of again go over the crease blend it blend it blend 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 blend, blend. okay then i'm going to go in with jet setter right above the what is it smarty pants I love their names too. I love the names. Smarty Pants. So Jack fun. <laughs> just knew. What? They just knew. They just knew that we were going to do it. Right? Smarty Pants, yeah. This, oh sorry, this one I'm going in the crease with. Same brush I've been using for the last three colors. I'm going just in the crease so it just creates like a, a blended darker shade in the corner of the eye. Beautiful. Now I'm going to go in with Rebel right here. It's a little bit more of an orangey red tint to it um it's really pretty and because it's a bit darker again you want to make sure you don't have too much on and i'm just going to go in the corner again and this one's going to blend a little bit more into the crease oops as i say it too <laughs> almost done now I'm gonna go in with Leader, the super dark maroon color. I love this color for your darker shades. And 
I mess around just dabbing so that I can see exactly where the color is going to go. Look at that. I'm going to use the brush I use for myself, the uh, Makeup Forever Professional Line 216 Wavy Brush. And I'm going to go in with this act, a little bit of activist and a little bit of smoke show. Super dark. But when I when I was doing Joelle's um, look, she was like, I want to go darker. Mm -hmm. so More dramatic. More dramatic. So again, this one we're just going to focus on the crease line right here. Now I'm going to take the first brush that I worked with, the crease brush, and I'm just going to kind of blend out the top a bit more. Then I'm going to go in with a flat ended brush and I'm just going to take Funny Girl Shimmer. <laughs> You're so funny. I love these names. I know, right? And I'm going to, again, just dab that in the corner. And I, I usually use setting spray to do this, but because this is a little bit more of a natural look, a natural approach, I don't want to put too much of a shimmer on her lid. I'm just going to do this. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go back in for the under eye. I'm going to take some of the Smarty Pants with the first brush I used and I'm just going to put it right underneath her eye. Then I'm going to take the smaller brush that has all the darker shades on it. I'm going to go in with Rebel. Just going to go right under the crease starting from the outer corner of the eye and building it inwards. Then I'm gonna go in with Leader and Activist. I'm kinda gonna mix the two together because those were some of the darker shades we used and again, just on the corner. Brilliant. So for Joelle's look, I'm just going to blush her face. I'm just gonna blush you up a bit. I'm gonna use an angled brush from Quo, and I'm just I'm gonna use the same blush I use, which is the Tarte uh, blush called Exposed. This is my go-to blush for everything, day, night look, whatever it is. So, Joelle just did her own liner. She literally just did a line um, using a pencil liner because um, they're not the best to do for a winged liner like me, but for her, she just did like kind of almost a smudgy natural look. Mm -hmm. So this winged liner just adds like a little bit of definition right above the lash, um, the lash line. And um, it kind of adds to that smoky eye natural look. Then she's gonna go in with her mascara. She's gonna do top and bottom lashes. Yeah. This is my favorite mascara ever. It's called Telescopic uh, by L'Oreal. And it is the blackest black kind. So on the bottom, I don't like to do a lot. I like to do just a little shimmy. She does. Yep, I just do a tiny, tiny bit. While she's doing that, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use on her brows. It's the same thing that I use on mine. The Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Stick. Now, I'm just gonna brush her brows. Now, Joelle's brows, actually, I love them because there's not a lot there. No, there's not. But it's beautiful because they're already, the color's already there, so all you have to do is just kind of fill them in. Just oh, okay. shape them there. Yeah. And again, it's good to start on the outside and then work your way in. Beautiful. Okay, Bam. so that's her brows done. Now we are going to do her lips. This is not glue stick. A glue stick. A glue it stick. looks like it. It's not glue. <laughs> it is a swivel stick ultimate moisture cocoa butter formula palm from Palmer's. It's the best thing ever. I, I highly suggest that. this. It's just a lip chat, but it makes 
Here it is. Perfect. And while that's set, while that's setting, I'm gonna do her glow. The other thing too, just back to the lips, whenever you put a chapstick on before you put lipstick on, you wanna make sure you do it either first or before, or do it and then wait a while before mm -hmm. you put your lipstick on because otherwise it'll change the pigmentation of the lipstick or it will mix in and it won't apply the lipstick as well as you want it to. Exactly. So be aware of that. Okay. Now here's the color palette I use for my glowing Glow up. process. Um, and I usually mix and match now with Joelle. She's a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go in with this one and this one right here. Just those two. And we're just gonna, oh, hello, hello. And that is almost the last step. Lipstick! So this last step I use, uh, this is from MAC, it's called Whirl. It is just one of their lipsticks. I love MAC lipsticks, they're Look fantastic. at the color, it's like, it's like a natural, a neutral color, it's so beautiful. Totally. I bought this with you actually. It's I remember. It pops her natural color totally, totally well and it really pulls the look together. Setting spray, I use the Urban Decay setting spray. Um, oil control, which is really important. Close your eyes. Mm. Voila! And it smells amazing. It smells so good. Like, I would wear this as perfume. Same. Anyways, so that was Get the Look for Joelle's photo shoot look. It super, was. Super easy and simple. Yeah. And the thing is, too, is you can skip steps, you can add steps, you mm -hmm. can do whatever you want. Um, and the other thing, too, with makeup is, like anything, practice makes perfect. Totally. Maybe even show us some on your Instagram feeds. Make sure you tag yes. at Jo and Britt. At Jo and Britt, tag us. And one thing I will say, um, I used to not be very good at makeup, and then I met Britt and some other people, and they all, what I think is the most important is getting the right brushes, because when you have the right brushes, it really changes um, the whole look. So make sure you're getting those brushes, the ones that Britt was talking about in the last video and this video, make, make sure you pick some of those up, because it makes, it makes the whole look look different. Any of the products we use today will be in the links below. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. We had a lot of fun doing this. And yeah, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Maybe send us pictures and we'll try those looks. Love it. Let's do that. Remember to be patient and ride the wave. Later surfers. See you later.